Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and now in this video I will show you how you can move that data from one internal table to another internal table using the corresponding operator itself. In the previous video, I showed you if we don't know corresponding, how you are putting a loop, how you are using work area, how you are using append statement. Now it is very, very easy if you are using corresponding keyword or corresponding operator. And the main benefit is we can directly move that data from one internal table to another internal table having that different structures. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply comment this one. Previously, we have done this by, we have done this by this way. Now, rather than writing this much logic, I will simply write, what is the new internal table in which you want to move that data? LT underscore data one. From which internal table you want to move? So firstly, I will use corresponding. Go for bracket. Before going for bracket, we will go for hash. And I told you that hash is not a topic that you will only, only see in con statement or switch statement. We used hash in con. We used hash in switch. We used hash in value operator also. Now we will use hash in corresponding also. Now I will go for bracket and what is the internal table? LT underscore data. Just see how easy it is. This logic completely replaced by this logic. So what it will do? It will simply move that data of matching columns from this internal table to this internal table. So what is corresponding? If I will go for the person's moves data between the internal tables for the matching column, matching column. Now I will check the syntax. You can see there is no syntax error and I will activate. Now just see here, we used hash, we used hash. So in that case, why I'm not getting an error? I used hash but still I'm not getting an error that system under system is unable to understand the type because I'm not using inline data declaration. I told SAP that the new internal table has these three columns. I explicitly declared this internal table. If you remember in the previous videos when we used hash at that time, I declared those variables explicitly. Now, suppose if I will go for inline data declaration, system will give me the error. Suppose many times people will try to use this. They are saying, okay, they know new syntax. So they have to go for inline data declaration. Suppose I'm commenting this LT data one because it will be duplicate. Now, whenever I will check the syntax, system will give me the error because it is unable to understand the type. Have you seen we got same to same error? No type SAP is not able to understand what is the type of this internal table. So I did this by using this explicit data declaration. System should understand that you are moving the data to internal table. What is the type of that internal table? So what is one way? Yes, whatever the, okay, I'll just declare now. And widely, widely in the value operator also, I explained this pond also, I explained this switch also, I explained this. Now we are using corresponding. So if you are using hash, so go for explicit declaration so that system can understand that this is the type of your internal table. Now, if I will check the syntax and I will show you in that debugging mode, it will get same to same out. Now I will put a break point and show you, then we will go for important point also. Suppose I am going for input one to five. 
I will go for desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now you can see this is that data, five rows, five column. We are passing to this internal table. Now I will do F6. Now data moved. Now just see, is that data of all three columns moved or data of only two columns moved? data of only matching columns will move. Okay, if you will see here, here we have the column name ERNUM. Here we have the column name UNAME. So data will not move. Data of matching columns will move. So VBELN and VB type only these two the column data will move. Have you seen? UNAME is blank. So that data of matching columns will move through this particular corresponding, if you are using corresponding only. And now we have the data or output of two columns. Now suppose if we want to move that data of this U name, this ER num column also, how, how we will use? We will simply, simply write mapping. Now, Mapping means which column data you want to map with which particular column. Here we have U name. We want to move the data to U name column. And here we have which column name? ER num. So ER num data column data will go to U name column. So if your columns are not matching and if you want to move the data, then in that case, you need to use the mapping keyword. Just see here, we covered also. Mapping means it is used to move the data of, map the data. I'll say map the data of one column to another column. Previously, in old syntaxes, you are just writing equal to. Here, you have to go for mapping keyword. Very, very easy. Now, if I will show you the output in the debugging mode, now the data of U name column will also map. If you want to map the data to another column also, you can refer by this, you can write by this way. Now, if I will show you, so it will match the data. It will map, pass the data of matching column, plus it will map the data of this to this also. Now, if I will show you the output, you can see we have the data of U name also. Yes. Now I will simply show you the output. This is our output. Now what is third way? And that is also widely used. We want to see what corresponding is doing. It is moving the data of one internal table to another internal table for matching columns. Now it might be the case we do not move the data. Column names are matching, but we want to restrict that. Suppose I have 10 columns. Here also in this internal table, suppose I have 8 columns. 10, 8. And out of this, 8 columns are matching, but I do not want to move the data of two matching columns. So in that case, how, how we will do? Because that should also be a provision. Because suppose if I am saying, in this case, we want to move the data of VBELN and ERNUM, but we do not want to move the data of VB type because there is a different logic for the same. So in that case, you can restrict that column also. You have to use the keyword accept. Which column data you do not want to move? VB type. So VB type data column day, VB type column data will not go to another internal table. Very flexible. If I will go for syntax check activation, I will run and show you the output. This date is taking time for activation. I just wait. Done. Now I will show you that data of only, only two columns will move. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now you can see 
firstly corresponding will move the data of the matching column map will map the data of this to this but accept accept what it will do it will exclude this particular column now whenever i will do f6 and you can see the new internal table this is our new internal table and have you seen the data of pp type did not move so this is the way how you can apply various permutation and combination depends upon the requirement now i will show you by other way also because in this way i showed you through correspond i showed you through hash we used hash with the corresponding if you are using hash remember yes you should make sap understand that what is the type of your result so i did the explicit data declaration i declared this internal table explicitly so system understand now sometimes people are saying no hash is not comfortable for us anyways hash is always preferable by everyone in value also cond also switch also because people want to generalize the coding they will they will always prefer hash but few people are saying no we want to try other way also now in that is rather than hash what i will do i will simply simply create a table type just see suppose you are going for inline data declaration here suppose data lt underscore data one now i am commenting this now i am going for inline data declaration and i am using hash system will give me the error because system is unable to understand what is the type of this internal table so what i will do i will create a table type you all know how you are creating a or how you are declaring a internal table internal table type table type so i will declare a table type how you can declare a table type you all know with the help of coding how you can declare a internal table how you can declare table type sorry lttty underscore data local table type type table of lty underscore data one so i created a table type so you can simply use the table type here you need to go by either way either you need to make sap understand by using structure type or table type either you need to go for explicit declaration i fully fully put a stress in cond and switch statement then in value operator also and here also we are going for same to same thing and yes we want internal table we want to move the data of one internal table to another internal table so compulsory we need to go for table type because you all know internal table type table type table type if you will go for structure type it will not work and i showed you in the value also now now important part you all know yes we need to explicitly specify that we are not going for any key so what i will write with empty key i will check the syntax and now i will activate have you seen there is no error so it is totally your wish how you want to go but i saw based upon the percept my perception people always prefer hash so you can simply use hash but just make as just the help sap to understand that you are declaring the result explicitly if you are not declaring explicitly then you have to go for a table type if you have the internal table now generally one question we ask in the interview what is the difference between value operator and corresponding operator and many times we are getting the wrong answer c value operator is used to pass the data to insert the data to a internal table you are simply inserting the data to one internal table but with the help of corresponding you are moving the data of one internal table to another internal table and words words itself is saying value it means you are inserting the values to internal table corresponding 
it means you are moving that data of one internal table to another internal table. So what is the summary of this particular video? Important video because so many questions, so many understanding from the interview perspective. So firstly, what I did, I commented the logic. Now, after that, I showed you, yes, how you can move that data using corresponding operator. You can give internal table, result internal table. Corresponding, firstly, I showed you through hash. Suppose I will go for that also so that you can understand the summary also better. Okay. Now, in this case, firstly, I showed you through hash. I put corresponding hash and I put the name of the source internal table. So data of this internal table will go to this internal table for matching columns. When I showed you the output, ER num data did not go because in one internal table, it is ER num. In another internal table, it is U name. After that, I showed you by using the mapping keyword. With the help of mapping, you can map the data of one column to another column if column names are not matching. Yes. After that, I showed you if you want to exclude the data, means you, you do not want to move the data of this column to another. This, you do not want to move the data of this particular column to another internal table. Then you can use accept. After that, I showed you if you do not want to use hash. So in that case, if you are going for inline data declaration, you need to pass a table type. And ultimately, it is totally your wish how you want to go. But your target should be, system should understand. Either by this way or this particular way, you are going for explicit declaration. Or if you are going for inline data declaration, use table type at that point of time. But system should understand in any of the way, flexibility is depends upon you only. And after that, I showed you. What is or after I told you what is the difference between value and corresponding value operator is used to insert the data to internal table. Corresponding is used to move the data from one internal table to another internal table. So this is all about corresponding operator. Thank you.